tomorrow's warriors have changed the musical landscape of Britain. It's as simple as that. There's a vibe and an energy to tomorrow's warriors that can't be replicated. It's a role model, it's a leading light, I think, for the industry. Everyone who's been through it has, you know, had a leg up. And I, maybe it's just the sense of community. Like, it feels like you're joining something bigger than you. There's almost like a lineage of people go to warriors and then come out to innovate in the music scene in London and abroad as well. Everyone's like talking, why is British jazz so diverse and eclectic and whatever? It's because of Tomorrow's Warriors. I've been playing music by the alumni of Tomorrow's Warriors for several years now. It's been sounding so fresh and exciting. There are many different musicians involved. There are many bands coming out of it. They found something in, in, in Tomorrow's Warriors that enabled them to, to look far and to trust an inner voice. You know, they are taking British music and, and they're making it something that people want to listen to all over the world. The impact of Tomorrow's Warriors on the jazz scene has been to diversify, you know in race and in gender, which is fantastic. And also diversity in the preferences musically. And what they have done is tapped into a different audience, which is really cool. Tomorrow's Warriors has always been about bringing people together, but it's also about supporting the next generation, the younger generation of musicians. And that means everybody, whether you've got money or you haven't, all you have to come with is your passion there's already a whole new crop of young players that are learning to play this fantastic music. Two regular bars, uh, time and then... The when I first went to Warriors, like, it felt really welcoming. When you feel encouraged by the people who are around, both teachers and students, you know, it makes you want to come back. You know, you're excited to be there, excited to learn. You're surrounded by like, incredibly talented musicians and teachers and it's really inspiring to be around. You get to learn in an environment that's just very dynamic, things are always changing and you're always getting new opportunities. Everyone has like a chance to improvise and compare ideas and actually like have a conversation. Like, I've been looking for people playing like that for the longest time and it's like I finally found home. It's very community led. People from all different backgrounds have access to like the same like musical education. And another thing that's so great about it is the fact that the sessions are, are free. Like that is incredible. I was not able to pursue a higher education or have a private teacher and to, till this day I don't have the resources to do that. And since I was in Tomorrow's Warriors, Everything has changed for me. It's so important that the programme remains free because if we're really about inclusivity, then we need to get rid of that economic boundary. And if it wasn't for free, I wouldn't be able to have done it. I had all the heart, but none of the money. So the fact that it was free changed my life and I feel like it could change many other people's too. Without Tomorrow's Warriors, I myself probably wouldn't be even speaking to you today because I, w I wouldn't have got that sense of self to think that I can do something that, that is useful and, and disciplined. So I think like, it gave me a boost in my self-esteem at such a young age. Being an instrumentalist, being a woman, being black, playing jazz, it's like, it's a lot of things that I'd felt singled me out in other places that I'd played music in and coming to Warriors made me feel a sense of community that I'd definitely been lacking. Gary and Janine and the whole Warriors organisation, what they do is invaluable. Souls are not young. We recently got accepted into the Guild Hall School of Music. It's never been more of an important time to highlight the black led organisation. It's allowed artists like myself to have more of a level playing field in terms of creating a career. Representation is everything, and so to be able to see people like Gary and Janine in their respective roles is very important and so necessary, especially in the jazz world. We need more black-owned organisations. It's just, that's the fact, do you know what I mean? It's so rare and it feels mad that we're in 2020 and we're still talking like this. Right now, a lot of people are looking for ways to support the black community. They're saying, I want to help, but I don't know how. 
This is how. Tomorrow's Warriors has proven time and time again that that's what they're about and your money can help them continue to do that. It's very important that Tomorrow's Warriors stays running and stays being able to support more young musicians like myself. If you feel that you need to support cultural industries, you feel you want to support equality and you feel you want to uh, level the playing field for, for young people in music, then Warriors has done that and will continue to do that. They're bringing up the community that they're from with them. That's the way it should be. It's all there what they've achieved thus far. We have to have families like Tomorrow's Warriors to make sure that you can say to the youngsters, wherever they come from, you have a voice. Have a go. See where it takes you.